Test. Test. Are you well well I hope I hope you are amazing I'm Amber Nicole I am the founder CEO of Unchartered Tutoring here the logo right here yeah this, this is my company um, I'm a biomedical artist and well I guess I can add muralist to my list of accomplishments that are now like able to be published. I don't know. I don't know. It's new. It's new to me. Um, I've been talking about this Piscataquag uh, rail trail that uh, mural on the bridge that I've been working on for like the last three weeks. And I'm totally going to focus on that in this stream. Uh, I have a lot of video, like I have, I don't know, like 300 gigs or something, a video I've been taking. So I'm going to walk you through what our basic process was in creating this mural and reveal a fun exciting announcement here so remind me at the end if i don't do it but there is a big exciting announcement so i'll get started with equipment basically i've been recording this mural using a variety of cameras now the camera i'm looking at right now is the one i actually used to take the video i'm going to show you first um and it got kind of covered in paint uh it's a thing uh so i'm bringing the gopro more now uh, but here's an example of the cameras. It does have a little bit of paint splatter on it. The green is honestly from in-studio use. The blue splatter, um, that is a lot more on the camera I'm looking at right now. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so this one's nice because it's got a good microphone on it, as you can hear. I am using the noise suppressor this time. Um, because my AC is now running. Um, if you're having trouble hearing me, please let me know. Also, I might be processing some video to cut it down and edit it and stuff. Um, that might be running through the media encoder, Adobe's media encoder right now. So let me know if you're having some little blips in whatever it is I'm doing today. Um, yeah, I should... Should I check on that? No, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to talk about equipment. So this is the camera. It's basically a really nice microphone that they still have the camera on. And it does wonders for me. I use it for all my streaming. I've got one here. I've got one there. I've got one here. I think I've got another one somewhere. And I think a friend has one of mine. Um, so these are really great for streaming and talking online. Um, this is... This is a relatively recent addition to my video collection. It is my dad's old GoPro. Um, I mostly use this for um, time lapse. It's a smaller video format. It's only 720, so like, 
you know, I'm not looking to get killer video out of this or anything, but it does, it's nice because I can set it up and leave it and forget about it. When I'm doing um, time lapses, it's taking a picture every, whatever the interval I set on it. Um, and that's creating really small files, which is really nice, which just means this can just keep going forever and ever. And actually, I don't think I've run out of battery on this one yet while working. And I've had like five hour work days and stuff. I'm mostly pointing this at Joseph Marcus. He's doing this incredible work on the entrance to our mural. And you just can see it shaping around him as he goes up and down the ladder. So I'm using a very old, I think this is a 10, 10 year old GoPro. <laughs> I have a newer GoPro that I'm also using. Uh, this is my partner's GoPro. Um, and I just set this up and set long video on it um, at, at 1080. And it gets some okay sound. But mostly, we've been having some trouble with people and how they interact with us uh, in the mural. So this is mostly pointed down the tunnel to see all of us working and catch license plates of dirt bikes that are going down this trail. There's not supposed to be anything motorized going down this trail, but it's happening. My eyelash is really bothering me. Can you tell as I like fidget with it? Maybe it's better. Um, so this GoPro, that's giving me lots of video. And I sometimes have two of these bad boys running just when we have all the artists there. Um, but let me walk you through our process of what this really looks like. Are you ready? All right, this is Josemar. Josemar is amazing. This is what the tunnel looked like um, after the city uh, coated it for us. Unfortunately, they coated it in an anti-graffiti uh, substance and that caused a lot of problems. If you look around this image, you can see uh, Johnny Funk, Yasmin is uh, here behind Peter Noonan also a famous artist, and Josemar Matimo. Um, this is my paint sprayer. Yeah. How did we run this in this remote location? I'll get to that. Don't you worry. Um, but you can see these drips that are happening right here in the in the corners, kind of behind Josemar. Um, Josemar, why did I do that? Um, it's because I'm nervous and showing you things. So these drips are not normal, and it gets really bad here and through here. So you notice as it gets towards the center of the tunnel, the dripping gets even worse. The problem we were having is these walls are under a dirt road. Well, a road that has lots of dirt in it um, and uh, a paved asphalt on top of it. This used to be literally a rail trail tunnel. So uh, railroad used to run through here. So there's a lot of coolness in this tunnel. It was a warm, sunny day but inside that tunnel was super cool. And what was happening is the walls were so cold um, and the air so warm that the dew point was high enough that our wall temp and dew point were about the same. And so we were running out. So anyways, I'll get there in a second. So anytime the walls are the same temperature as um, the dew point we, or below, or I don't know about below, probably below too, we can't paint. Um, because the moisture that's in the air and the humidity, uh, precipitates out because the air is a gaseous solution with H2O and oxygen, nitrogen, all of those things mixed up that we breathe. Um, and as the air moves through this tunnel, the air that brushes along the edges of the tunnel, uh, gets cooled down. And so it can't hold as much moisture as it could when it was warmer. And so it drops the moisture onto the wall. This is the same thing as when you pour yourself a really nice cold glass of lemonade, um, you, you know, like with ice in it and everything, you pour it and you're like, oh, this is gonna be perfect. And you know, you didn't pour any on the outside, right? You're like, this is good, this is good. You take it outside, go to sip it on your porch and there's water collecting on the outside. That's why your, or your mom makes you use, you know, a coaster, a trivet, whatever. Um, because the moisture is going to accumulate on the outside of the glass because of the temperature difference. Um, same idea, same idea. So our mural was basically a giant freaking large glass of iced tea or lemonade, whatever your drink of preference is. Okay. That me, that's me in the orange. Yep. I look real funny. What have we got going on here? So Joe Zamar and I are about to use a paint sprayer. And with that use, we're wearing masks so that we're not breathing in the paint. And um, we're talking back and forth. 
you can maybe hear it a little bit. But um, this is a paint sprayer. Nice shot of my butt. Um, oh, I'm clenching. Uh, so this is the charger for drill batteries, or we'll get to it, but light batteries. Um, we had to use the drill to mix. I'm gonna show, you're going to see it here. We're pouring in the flow trawl into the, the paint. Now, we want to get started real early because they wanted this done by mid-June. I think we're going to hit it. But, oh yeah, and this trail's in use the entire time, so people are walking through where we're painting the entire time. Um, there we go. Joe Zamar is mixing with my, my drill um, with the battery. And so that's ceiling paint that I had on hand, and we're mixing some of the Chroma Mural paint blue into it. I think Oasis and Acid are the two colors we chose to mix together that Yasmin had in her closet from her last um, project. Um, and so mix a little flow trawl in there so it can make it through the sprayer. That's really important. You want a perfect consistency. Um, <laughs> the, you know, the directions on a bottle of flow trawl that you can get at Home Depot will, will tell you exactly what it should be. Um, here, look, I'm doing a walkthrough and you can really see the dripping challenges. Um, as we're on the edges, look at that. It's uh, pretty okay, but you get into the center and look at all that dripping that's being caused by the condensation. And everyone's just trying to work with it so we can get this done. Um, Johnny doing outlines with um, Peter Noonan there, Johnny Funk and Peter Noonan. Peter Noonan is probably a name you've heard of, just saying. Um, there's Yasmin Safarazda. Uh, she's working off of a fern drawing, it's kind of fun. Um, but uh, Peter Noonan has been in uh, the New York Journal. Yeah, that's me, that's me. Um, or New York Times, excuse me. So that magazine, his, his political cartoons are regularly in there. Um, so why am I dressed so funny? One, I've got a hat on, okay, to prevent paint drips into my face, into my eyes. Also, sun. I get sunburned very easily. And then I've got a bandana, Christmas bandana, mind you, around my head because this paint is going to drip down all over us. And I don't feel like cleaning it out of my hair. I really just don't. I don't feel like cleaning it out of my hair. Um, I'm going to move this forward a little bit so you can really get into the great fun and not just my back. There we go. That's the summer camp t-shirt from 2020 where we decided to go all remote to keep us all safe because we just didn't know enough. So here we filled the paint sprayer and I'm showing Josemar how to operate it from different spray widths and how to get it done. Um, and talking about how the air is moving through. Now, how am I running a paint sprayer in the middle of a rail trail in the middle of a park? My car can't come down here. I mean, we could take down some things, but it would it's not, not a good idea. Not a good idea, okay? Um, I have my car parked like 20 feet above us in the parking lot of 520 Granite Street. So take a look at a map of where we're working. Um, maybe, maybe I'll just show you on a map. Um, yeah, let's do that real quick. Um, cause it's really funny. Hold on. Let me pull that up. Um, oh, I can leave this playing for you while I pull that up. I'm going to get better at this, I promise. The more I do it, right? Um, yeah. So, like, let me pull up a map. Pulling it up. Um, and I want to show you... I'll show you satellite... And I'll probably end up showing you terrain as well. But there I am. I'm beginning to start spraying the paint, um, which really just needs to be um, there we go. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna there you go. You can see me. Okay. Ah, not what I wanted. Okay, go back, go back. Go back. Video. Yes, thank you. So I'm spraying and I'm showing Josemar how to spray the paint. Um, and everyone like was kind of like, this isn't going to be better than rollering. And I'm like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, and, and it is. Oh, and we're wearing safety goggles too. Safety first. Safety first, folks. Um, and I have it on a rolling furniture dolly um, so that I can just pull it and it moves along with me. I know I've thought of everything, right? 
Um, and here we are at the end. And Josemar is beginning to do it. <laughs> and, uh, and I stopped the video. Now, this is our second batch that we make. I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to show you. Um, doo -doo -doo. Where am I? Here I am. I'm going to show you where we're at. So this is the rail trail right here. You see this moving on through? Um, yeah, it's nice. Nice rail trail. It goes right next to the river. It's kind of wonderful. Um, oh, you know what? I've never gone down this. I should go down this one day. That looks like it's ex access to Zawata. Um, so this rail trail is really wonderful. Um, it crosses the Merrimack River right here, right by the Fisher Cat Stadium. Yeah, you can see that. It's amazing. Um, I love using that bridge all the time, biking and walking. It was a really important part of my physical therapy and rehabilitation when I was relearning to walk. We, um... We park, hold on, I'm gonna show you. I don't suggest if you try to visit this to park here because they'll get upset at you. We park right here. Can you see that? We park right here. Yeah, right here. It's it's behind Chris Cosmetics, which is right here. Um, and then you have to enter the trail here. Now these people are annoying. I just have to say their lot is always full of cars and this entire back is full of tires. It's gross smelling. Anyways, so we unload the car here, which I'm gonna show you how we do. And then we roll everything down this way on wagons and rolling scaffolding and around the building because this is a big drop. This is even hard for me to jump. Um, I did it once. And we, we drag it this way. Look at this. And it's a, it's a little less than a quarter of a mile. And through the trail that you can no longer see because it's so wooded. Look at this. Um, through the trail to the Parker Street Bridge. This is the Parker Street Bridge. Um, and cars are going over it, we're using it, all that kind of jazz. But there's quite an elevation difference between the road here and where we are on this trail. So I got permission from the owners of 520 Granite Street, which is this number right here, 520 Granite Street. They have a large parking lot. And I parked my Prius right here and ran an extension cord from my Prius using a Ryobi um, power inverter. Uh, and ran the cord down here and then through to this under the bridge. I'm not joking. I used my Prius as a generator um, and got to lay down a lot of color that way. I know, amazing how that works. Anyway, so this is the location of the mural. If you have an opportunity, do swing by and check it out. I think you will love it. The trail goes on much, much longer after that. Um, I walk, run, well, I don't run anymore, but I walk and bike it quite frequently. So I'm so happy to be a part of this project. Let's show you the terrain so you can just kind of see some of the elevation difference. Right? Oh, that's not terrain. That's just street stuff. Show me terrain, man. Uh, not traffic. Terrain. Well, it doesn't want to work for me. What else? Why does it only want to show me satellite or train? What's it say for biking? Yeah, there's a bike path. I want the elevation changes. Whatever. It's big. I mean, not that big. It's taller than me. It's a road. It's a bridge. It could go over a train. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Just, just go with it, okay? Um, and that's where I'm working, you know, in Manchester, New Hampshire. That's the biggest city in New Hampshire. Um, in the northern part of the United States, in these little forgotten states, right? Anyways, I'll stop, I'll stop. Um, and we can go back to our videos, yeah? You probably like that a lot. You want to watch the videos. Here we are mixing more paint. And you don't need to watch us mix paint, but watching paint dry can be really important because we need to learn things from it. So there's that Oasis paint, and this is uh, Chroma Mural paints that are much, much cheaper than the golden paints that other people like talked about being very helpful for mural making. Um, but the, they're intense, they spread nicely, they don't do well with a lot of moisture added to them. I will say that though, but they seem really color fast. They're holding onto the wall reasonably well for it being anti-graffiti paint. Like who in the city decided, oh, they're gonna do a mural here, so I'm gonna paint with anti-graffiti paint. Anyways. Um, 
here we're adjusting the color making it you know the darkest in the center and then we're going to fade it to the edges it didn't work out that way oh there was peter noonan walking by with the sketches um he did make the sketches that we're working off of but it really became a little different because when you get so many artists working on something that's what happens um Josemar was really great about mixing it you have to mix it really well um to get it to go through the paint sprayer because it's aspirating the paint. And if you get a lot of clumps, it's not going to work. The only negative thing about using the paint sprayer is it's really, really, really annoying to clean. Okay. It is, it is annoying to clean 100%. Um, so Joe Zamar is mixing our color and I'm getting everything set up, testing it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already covered in dirt and paint. Um, here we go, and I'm gonna plug it in. It's gonna be awesome. See, look at that, I plugged an extension cord into the power inverter. That's right. So, <laughs> and these things I did not put far enough away from the project and they got splattered in paint. And I knocked the camera over, you know. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. All right, and here, look, we painted part of the ceiling blue and I'm walking through um, and Josemar is really exciting, excited about learning the skill. Um, and we're focusing on the center of the ceiling because we're going to add more white paint to it and hopefully fade it to white. That didn't quite happen. You need a lot more white worked into this paint in order to get it to do that. Um, yeah, and this tunnel is about 50 feet long. Um, and again, you see people are walking right through it while we're working. Um, yeah. It's kind of great, and Josemar is getting going. Look at him. And we eventually decided to put him on a step stool because it did give him a little more control. Um, we don't want to hurt ourselves, number one. Look at him go. Yay. Spraying the paint. Spraying the paint. Um, this is what mural work is, folks. It's it's not all glamorous. It, it really isn't. Johnny, John Funk, working through it, looking at the reference material. Let's go to our next one. So this is what it looks like when Yasmin and I carry supplies to the tunnel to get started. Um, this is this is hilarious in its in its own like little itty bitty right. You know what? I should be able to control the speed that these things play, right? Um, right? Can I do that? No. Uh, can I? I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing I can do. At least not in this media viewer. Um, but that's us walking <laughs> with our barrel, uh, barrels of water to clean our brushes with. There's no water on site. Water to drink with, clearly packaged here. And, and me and my really granny hat on um, protecting the sun off of my body um, because I burn. And we're walking down this little thing and there's this big bump that happens right um, at this intersection right here and they actually they took it out this weekend they took out the speed bump this weekend for us watch i'm gonna go over it here like i'm like trying to figure out how to do this and it's kind of warm but i don't want to get sunburned so i'm wearing you know here we go bump bump yeah right there that was that was a speed bump super exciting right um and the walk takes us about six minutes once everything's unloaded from the car um and <laughs> My granny hat with my surf shirt and my shorts. I know it's just too much, too much goodness. Um, but you can see like this neighbor here to the right is just packed with cars. I don't know what their plan is with all those cars. And like tires fall onto the trail on a semi-regular basis. And they also block the sidewalk, which is a big no-no um, in my book. It's a big no-no. Um, just having been a disabled person, if you're blocking the sidewalk, you're preventing safe access of the city to be persons with disabilities. And I'm just really not a fan of that. I think it is so wrong. Um, plus there's ADA stuff, whatever, whatever. Oh man, my video is blocking Yasmin. I feel bad about this right now. She's really awesome. She shouldn't be blocked. Um, yeah. So it's just this trail. See, look at all those tires. Oh, it smells so gross right here. It's so gross. Why we're allowing tire storage right next to one of the city parks? I don't know. It's gross. Um, and we walk through and very shortly you'll start seeing a tunnel kind of appearing in front of us in white. Oh, I, nope, that was a sign. That was a sign. 
So the space that we've chosen or that's been chosen for this mural is a space that's had a kind of not a, I don't want to say sordid history, but a challenged history. Um, it used to be apparently like a mud dirt path and people kind of ignored it, um, but they paved it in the last 10 years. And now it's this amazing place to visit. Um, but we also have a large transitory community that are using these paths to move about the state. And these, these transitory people need these trails, they do. Um, but it doesn't always create a safe environment because there's a lot of drug use and that kind of thing. So um, we're hoping that by putting some love into this mural that we're working on, that maybe everyone will feel the love and the community and that maybe at least in this location where there are a lot of kids coming through because I'm handing paintbrushes to all the kids that will take them to work on the mural, um, that maybe the drug use will go down in this location. Like I know we're not really going to get drug use to go down without a lot of mental health counseling, but that, you know, we're trying to breathe love into this space so that everyone feels like they're really included and welcome. Um, yeah, it's a great view of me, by the way, here's the, here it is. You can sort of see the painting that has started. Um, you see that kind of emerging by my right hand. I know it's kind of, I'm way, I, I guess I, I weave back and forth when I walk. I didn't know this. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, I'm pulling my garden cart. It's been very useful in this project. I can even carry um, a full ladder on this garden cart with everything on it. I, I've got skills. Um, here is the mural uh, and the, the artwork that's created on it. And we're going to go into some darkness. Yeah, we don't need to, we don't need to see the end of this. Here we go. See, we're setting up, we're checking it out and trying to figure out, and it got graffitied more than once. Um, we're working through that. We're working through that. But, um, yeah, it's super exciting. Uh, here's Yasmin and I beginning to work. We have our first colors laid down, um, just really, really general stuff. But this is like us in light mode. This is us working super light um, so that we can uh, just get stuff done. Um, but that, see that blue ceiling? Um, yeah. And so I got started on this kid that's uh, drawn in a wheelchair over here because I identified with that character after spending so much time in a wheelchair myself and my my adventures relearning to walk happened a lot on this trail. So I feel really connected to this space um, on that perspective. Um, oh, see, and people are constantly stopping by like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And here we'll switch to what Yasmin was working on. So there's me working on it, right? And we're painters. We're not, we're not um, spray paint artists. We're not street artists at all. We are painters. Um, and I'm getting excited because I'm getting to give a paintbrush to a kid. Um, and there's Yasmin working. Uh, and she did this, she has this really painterly approach where she's not really like mixing the colors ahead of time. She's pulling them almost directly from the cans a lot while she works. Um, it's, it's quite a bit of fun. Um, you can see her just keeping on working as I got to hold this here. Um, it's really great. And we're cleaning up. You can tell as supplies start disappearing. It's great. Um, and then I grab, so here, look, a lot of work has been done. Very obviously, right? Look at this. Um, a lot of work got done. There's that garden cart that I pull everything in. And Amelia painted this. And Amelia is a high school student who did a fantastic job. Look at this. Um, it's beautiful. And it started getting dark. Um, and this camera, oh, I'm in the purple camera. Um, purple camera doesn't always like to record nicely. We'll skip this one. Here's Amelia painting that, that piece. Look at her. She's doing such a great job. Um, and we literally just hand paintbrushes to kids and tell them put stuff on it. We, we'll just paint over it later if it's not something that really incorporates, whatever, it, it's fine. Um, but you can see how much growth. See, there's that person I painted in the wheelchair. Um, just a lot going on. And I did clouds in the background. Some kids came and painted space right here. I just kind of love it. Um, a lot of work going into this. There's that ferny thing. And we've got a, a woman that stands here. And towards the end, it just this, this, these lines develop in my video. And I don't know why. I don't know why it happens. If anyone has any tips, tricks that they want to send me, you know, by all means. Yep, that's me. That's me. Um, 
trying to make Instagram content, basically. <laughs> and Amelia. Um, yeah, here she is getting started. Why this one goes backwards, I don't know. But here we are working super duper hard. Paint, 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 paint. What am I painting? Looks like, oh, I'm painting in the wheelchair. Yeah, watch the wheelchair appear. There's Yasmin. She just stopped in to say hi. And see, this this is what happens. I don't know why this happens with this camera. It's awful. We'll skip it. There you go, Amelia and A and C. That's me. A and C is me. Uh, number four, just kind of showing what we're working on. See, there's no wheelchair at the start of this video. And Amelia's great, waving at us. But no wheelchair, but we needed one. So it happened. All right, this is the camera I put on me to work this. Color, make my colors. What am I doing? Oh, I got paint on me and I'm using the sponge to clean it up off my shirt. I got it out of the sleeve successfully, but missed a spot on the front of my shirt. It was super disappointing. Um, but I'm trying to blend that pink into the blue to create like a really sunrisey sky. Um, and just working on that paint bucket I have as my step stool and going up and down. Just blending it together. The headband I'm wearing are indeed my headphones. It's kind of nice. Um, and I get to, I, I finally figure out right here that um, using the uh, sponge to put down a lot of color really fast is definitely the way to go with this. Um, Look at how much faster I'm painting with that sponge. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. Um, and then I'm working some orange into the pink because I thought it was looking a little too girly, a little too girly. That's me cleaning up. Um, there we go. And that was, so this is the same day and I came back after school. So that was in the middle of school because I didn't have any classes because of a field trip I kind of forgot about. Um, and so the kids weren't there, but you can just see me working and I'm, I'm trying to build these clouds and, you know, I'm kind of using the, the Dutch school of thinking for painting clouds with this underpainting that doesn't really completely make sense, but it does eventually. And then I'm using this sponge to start to give these things form. And I've blocked off, if you take a look, I've, you can't see the figure, but I've blocked off the figure and tape here so that I can just totally work around it and not have to be careful with my sponge. Um, and Johnny's working on the buildings, which is wonderful. But look at me being so careful and in my my uh, my nice baggy pants so that I'm super comfortable when I'm teaching. Um, and this is not the final last anything um so and then oh the, this is the day the bike bus rolled in look at this i was standing there working and the bike bus rolled through yay bike bus um bike bus totally rolled through um and it was a delight to have all the kids come in and then we then we gave all the kids a paintbrush and they painted which was way too much fun um, and they all have like these weird kind of unique bikes um, <laughs> and storage for their backpacks. And it's really, 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 really wonderful. Um, so then I set up the camera to capture the kids because no one wants to watch me paint, but the kids, man, let's watch the kids paint. Um, and that's Jason Sukap. He's kind of organizing uh, the money for this project so the artists can be paid for this work. Um, and we're grateful to Manchester Moves for uh, making this project a reality because there's funds. If there's no funds, we can't do it, okay? We just don't have that kind of money. Um, everyone left their blinking lights on and their helmets and all that kind of stuff. It was just kind of wonderful. And Yaz is showing them how to use the, the supplies. It's just a real delight. And they just go at it. Look at them. Like, no, it, it, no inhibitions, just freedom and paint. And it was delightful. <laughs> and this one, this one, he kind of looks like he's about to eat the sponge um, with ketchup on it. But it's great. I just, this was a great, great day. Um, and then 
I don't know if I, I don't think I captured because I didn't get them going away. At, this group was here for a long time. And then the Boys and Girls Club Bike Club came through and joined us painting. You can see some of those photos too. Um, look at them all painting and like looking for the next thing and leaving their helmets on like adorableness. It's wonderful. It's great. Oh, I love it so much. Even even mom's getting involved. It's just kind of wonderful. Um, this is a walkthrough just documenting how far and where we've gotten to at this point. Probably at the end of that, that very day. Yep, there's a flying dog in the sky. Don't know. Exactly. No, I mean, it'll make sense when the illustration's all together. I just finished that character. Like, we're up to the point where that guy's done, and I love it. Um, yeah, we're really building it. Oh, and I just painted that cat, too. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's quite, quite wonderful. That tree is painted. Oh my gosh. Wait until you, until you all see it. Um, it's, it's really wonderful. The beard is nice on that guy. Yeah. See, we're, we're constantly in use. Um, so this is a bunch of us working and you can see a bunch of work has been done. Look at this. We've got hearts floating in the sky. Um, this is the day that WMUR came to visit the Chronicle. It's our local news um, station. Um, so I just kind of left this recording while we kept working it up. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm all made up in this one. This one I was planning on streaming. This is last Wednesday. Um, I was planning on streaming from here, but we just didn't have the internet signal. And literally when my stream would have started was when my interview started with WMUR. So we'll see how that really ended up. And you can see like my GoPro sitting here. I don't have the, the time lapse set up yet. Um, but just getting recording one for our safety. We've had some problems, people literally attacking our artists um, and with illegal activity like dirt bikes. Look there, <laughs> that, that guy's not supposed to be coming through here. This is not what this is supposed to be. Uh, and it's pretty constant. Um, so yeah, um, here, just setting up. You don't need to, there we go. See, I'm just messing with all my cameras. Um, Yasmin is already painting, going away at doing everything. And I don't have enough video of Yasmin working, so I was sure to get video of Yas working. Oh, and that's Donald. He's with Bike Manchester, or not Bike Manchester, Manchester Moves. And he's just recording and documenting for his own sake. There's Peter Noonan. We tried to get everyone here this day so that we could get a lot of documentation. Um, oh, that's Johnny coming up. This was quite the day. It was exhausting. Josemar is there. Just working away. Also coating stuff so that uh, it's harder for people to hurt it. Yeah, look at this. People showing up. It's pretty awesome. Um, those are some of the funders, I believe, of the project. I'm not sure. Here we are. This is the news anchor hanging out with us. It's getting dark because look at this. It's pouring rain. <laughs> it's absolutely pouring rain. Um, look at how much Yasmin got done. Um, in, in her little corner over here, the, the camera guy has his camera set up. This, this was a thing, man. Um, and she had her interview and got cold because it was pouring rain. So she put a vest on. Um, and then it started, see that, see this, this is a mad rush. Some rain started pouring in, I think. Um, and so we had to get equipment up off the ground. Yeah. So they're miking me. I'm getting miked. I've got my pepper spray on me now because we don't want to be attacked. And we're trying to figure out where to set up my interview so that there's enough good natural light. And I'm using my light that's plugged into the power inverter thing, the Ryobi thing, with batteries hooked to it. And we're just trying to find some place. Um, and we're not finding a good spot with light and stuff. 
So we get we did a lot of moving around to figure this out. And then it started raining. There, see, she grabbed her purse because water was rushing right underneath the camera. It was like a torrent of water just coming through, um, which was unexpected. None of us had been there on a rainy day. Um, so that was funny. So here I am. And I'm like going to show everyone. See, look at this. It's pouring rain. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I moved it where the camera's pointed because of all the moisture that was coming in. So I think this is, or no, we ended up not doing it there. We ended up moving. Hold on, the, power, the more water is going to come in. Watch. Right when we get set up. Oh, do I not capture it? Oh, no, now I'm worried. No, I don't have it on this one. Okay, maybe it's the next one. <laughs> I got Yazzie. Look, see, there's like water now we're running through the tunnel. It is literally rushing through. Do you see that? Um, talk about challenges as we're trying to work and get interviewed and like look like a legitimate uh, painting crew. Uh, it's intense, man. Um, it's dark um, and I'm holding off the light for the final interview. Um, <laughs> look at all that water. It wasn't that wet when we started, was it? This is this is like within 30 minutes. Um, and this is what it looked like. Um, yeah, <laughs> like the, I put the light back up on a box so that we wouldn't get electrocuted. There's just so much, so much happening right here. And then we just started cleaning the brushes and the water as it rolled by. It was kind of hilarious. Um, ah, in the rain, I wanted to get some more of that, the entrance. Oh, and then it did the thing. See, I, why does it do this sometimes? I don't know. Um, <laughs> people not used to paint on their hands very clearly. Um, using the rags, just working, working, working. This looks like almost, let's see, look at her putting in that sky behind the proto molecule dot thing. Um, a little more sunlight. Yeah, this is the same. So this is when they walked up. Um, look, it's a sunny, beautiful day. It's not gonna rain on us, little do we know. Um, just trying to capture more of Yaz. It's just lots of other people working because I've been there alone. So there's plenty of video of me just working. Now we, I'm not going there alone anymore. Um, I will say that's not a thing because of people being attacked. It wasn't me, but we're now worried about all of us being hurt or whatever over art of all things. So just saying that's a thing. Look at this. Look, she keeps building it up. It's kind of great. Like, I mean, it's more than kind of, it's really great. And the camera person showed up and just got lots of B-roll footage of us working. Um, yeah, just work, work, work and filling it in, filling it in. It's a process, man. I'm gonna move forward. Um, I was talking. This might be where, where the water flooded in. Yeah, see, it got dark all of a sudden. And then there's this rush of people everywhere. Oh, nope, that's Yaz getting ready to interview. There, look, it's Yaz being interviewed. Yeah, go Yaz. Oh, that's great. This, this video starts out strong. Yeah, look at all that texture. That's no good. It's me painting the rainbow. That's a shame because I did a lot of work on that. Oh, why does it do this? Um, so this is a, a ladder got put here. That's where Josemar was working. So that's Ruby, the dog. And Benjamin. And then uh, Savannah shows up here in the corner below my face, you can see. And Savannah does a bunch of work, which is awesome. Not much, just a little. And her mom's there. They were at a, a Pride Day event in Lowell, Massachusetts, and we're just stopping by to say hey and check it out. Um, it was great to have them. Um, this is not a prime location for this camera, clearly. Uh, there's Josemar. That is Josemar's chosen footwear for muraling. Notice my footwear is like excessively robust and he wears none. He climbs the ladder with none too. 
um, just continual development and work in it. Look at all that that's already done. Look at how much progress we're making. Like, look at this. It's amazing. You know you love it. You know you do. Um, lots of people coming through while we work. We're trying hard to stick to the sides and do whatever. It's me that's on the, the scaffolding there, connecting the rainbow together, um, or at least trying to. Um, that's Jen. She's an Instagrammer. Check out her stuff. Um, she finds funny things around the city and posts them. Josemar's on the ladder in the middle. We're trying hard, but we, we all got to work in different areas. And it's the only way it's going to get done, you know. Lots of like moms with strollers, people on bicycles. It's just so great to see how many people just come through. Okay, this guy, did you see him? He comes through like each time we're working like six or seven times. I think he's just biking the trail back and forth for exercise. Um, it's kind of funny. Um, here we go, people properly lit and set up. And it's getting darker. Am I thinking about a light? I might be thinking about a light. Not yet. But it gets dark, man. And it's hard to work when it's dark. It's really, really hard to work when it's dark. You know? And this could be another video from the same exact location. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, because GoPro likes, so this is probably the GoPro. So GoPro likes to stop it and make another video file. Um, which I don't know why it's doing that, but it does. So it is what it is. See, this is illegal right here. Did you see that? You can't have bikes with motors like that going through. I like that you can even see some insects like rolling on through. People come and they stop and they talk about it. It's just kind of awesome to see this much happening and this much going on. And look at that beetle. <laughs> there you go. That beetle man is our friend. That's hilarious. I love that beetle now. Ruby. I just want to yell hi, Ruby, and see if she comes over. Because sometimes she's a little bit of a scaredy cat. It's true. We are currently at this point in time out of yellow and out of orange, um, in part due to my rainbow. I know this is a great shot, isn't it, with the ladder? And you can see uh, Josemar going up and down. Like, here he goes. Yep, look at that. Josemar, he doesn't wear shoes, but there are syringes in the dirt nearby, or at least there were. They cleaned him up. But uh, yeah, not, not cool. The syringes. I mean, he should be able to go barefoot wherever and be safe, but he's, it's not exactly safe. Look, it's the beetle again. Look, it's just going along, going along. Hi. Do, do, do. He's going to start singing soon. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and we're just trying to cover like lots of ground. I think for the clouds that we're going to do on the ceiling, I'm going to make like a, some kind of a tool um, that doesn't make it so that I have to get up and down on the scaffolding or a ladder. Um, there, yep, there's Savannah and her mom. Um, Oh, that just, was that it? No. Yep, there they are. So this is not allowed. They have no plates, so we can't do anything about it. Um, they're not street legal. And they're riding them on the rail trails. Not okay! I'll remember that. So which file is this? Uh, okay, but it's at the 1014 mark. Got it. It's just not okay. Oh, you can hear it. Yeah. It's really loud in that tunnel when that happens. It's not okay. Um, and here we are talking, look, the light came back out. It makes it so much easier to work. Um, people taking photos 
Me trying to get more shots of people working and doing the things. Yeah, it's adorable. Take note of that cat. Take note of that cat. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Take note of that cat. Um, as I set up to record more, and that's that's when I think the bad shots started happening with the ladder leg. I think watch. Nope, not yet. Um, it's pro probably this one. Probably this one. Watch the bad bad ladder happen. Joe Zamar's gonna come down. See bicycles. Just working away. I think we clean up shortly after Ruby arrives. Yep, there it is. There it is. Okay, so these are not chronological bummer. Um, this is uh, where I left the mural. What was it, Sunday? Look at that. It's got a great big, beautiful rainbow. Um, amazing rainbow. With these little dots and and things and 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 um, a fern. We've got people. We're, we are clear coating the people um, as we get them done because the faces have a tendency to be attacked, um, scratched out, not just painted over. But look at Savannah painting blue around. Um, yeah, they get like attacked. The faces in particular, and it's not okay. Uh, we've also had racial epithets. <laughs> Sammy you forgot to give me back my pepper spray. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and then, so you see that light that I've got going in there that gets us to keep working for longer. And now we have posters that we can tell people to go to the QR code and like take a donation. And you'll notice I've started putting cones out at the entrance to get people to slow down. Um, it's maybe helping. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, yeah. Ugh. So I need to move around a little bit. I've been standing still for an hour. Um, I ran, uh, or I had extra purple paint in my palette so I gave that kid purple hair. I don't know if it'll stay purple, but I, I definitely put it on. Um, and the, the buildings are starting to build up, um, flowers, like there's a lot going on now and you can totally see where it's going. Um, yeah, just, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun actually. Um, take note of the cat, take note of the cat. And then this is the other side. This is what Joe Zamar has been working on. Look at him on that ladder. And he's going to, oh, I hate this, but he does it. Ah! Um, he says he feels safe. The directions on the ladder on that little yellow thing say, don't do that. And he's doing it. And I'm telling him, you know, the directions say, don't do this. I don't want to be liable for this. Uh... <laughs> Oh man, it makes me nervous. It makes me so nervous. How are you not nervous right now for Joe Zamar? Um, yeah, see, right there. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. He doesn't seem to care. He doesn't seem to care at all. It concerns me. Look at that amazing painting though. They're doing a great job. It really is. I love it so much. It's just becoming so beautiful. Um, but yeah, so this is the end of what, Sunday? Or Monday? No, Sunday. I think I took a break Monday because I've done many hours. There's Peter. Yeah. Peter is one of my oldest friends in Manchester. That's Sammy. Sammy is a longtime student of mine, um, and she really focused on the rainbow as someone who advocates for LGBTQ rights. She really wanted to be a part of the rainbow. So that's what we did. We made sure to make it so she could be part of the rainbow. And I started filling in with blue. There's so much pollen in the air. That's what you're seeing collecting on this. Look at that. Look at that pollen. My partner was home like, I can't breathe. 
it today. It was, it was, it was bad. I think it was pine we determined. There's Jerzamar picking his colors. But Sammy just does a great job. And she works hard. Look at her being like all movie around and dewy stuff. There's pollen all over there. Oh my gosh. And this is how we load it up to get going. Look at that. Trying to move things out of it, out of people's way. Oh, and it's maple. I love maple. 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 <laughs> I'm more likely to know the dog's name than the owner's name. That's my friend Dan. He's he's a documentary filmmaker type person. Um, and he's really into this project. He just kind of loves it. Um, <laughs> and that's that's the, the child of one of the sponsors of this mural. Um, and I asked, I tried to give him a paintbrush and watch, watch. And he's going to be like, no, we're only here a short time. It was like rehearsed. It was, it was funny. It was dad told him we couldn't stay. <laughs> yeah, look at all these cameras I got going on. You can just kind of see how I set these things up and I'm working hard to do stuff with them. And that's Kate, Dan's partner. She's a, a, she's a spunky person. I really enjoy her. But here we are working away. And we had, I got some great photos. So this is the family of another student that I teach. You can see her helping me over here. And she got along really well with Sammy. So that was really exciting. Um, and they, they started painting too. Watch this. I got everyone painting. Like the dude never took off his helmet. He's just hanging out. I love this. I love this. I hope you can see it through the ladder. And look, it's Maple! What's not to love about Maple, man? Um, I'm going up and down this, the scaffolding to paint the things. Jaylani gets to, to painting. And then, you know, everyone, Dad's joining her over here. It's just really wonderful. Look at him go. Look, I like that he's got like the helmet on and everything. Look at that. It's really great. And then so I'm like, hey, you know, we can give you a thing to stand on if you're comfortable with it. And it makes it even funnier because he's got his helmet on. Um, <laughs> and Sammy, Sammy is filling in behind the fern. Um, it's just great. It's just great, you know, to have all these people contributing and participating. Um, and that's what we did all afternoon. Just constantly. It was really great. It felt good, you know, to have a community so involved in what we were doing and loving it so much. Yeah, here's here's Sammy Cam. She's supposed to move the camera around with her as she works so that I can get video of young people on this. There are a lot of young people on it, but I don't always have video. Um, so getting video of Sammy working is really helpful. I've been teaching her since she was a wee little one. There we go. That's a fun shot of Sammy working. It's the same time span as we just saw, but it's just a different shot. <laughs> it's just Sammy. <laughs> yeah, I think I was like, you're supposed to keep it pointed at you. <laughs> and I move it around to get pictures of everyone working. Everyone gets covered in paint by the end. It's just so great, wholesome, and loving to have so many hands working on this. Um, okay. Oh, this is the walk. Hold on. I'm going to stop this. That's right. We're going to... We're going to bring this down. And I want to show you, and I'm going to move over real quick so I can see the file names. Um, I'm going to show you... Um, this one. Oh, gravy. This is the long one. Nope, not the one I want. Okay, this is the right one. Are you ready for this? 
I do funny things. I'm going to lower the volume here. the big announcement. Now, um, this is what it looks like. I'm a mess. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm in a group. We all have day jobs. But this is like what we love doing is painting and incorporating things into the community. So I'm going to unpack the car and you get to watch. <laughs> all right. Let's set this up. And I'm in my school apron instead of my Mount Zion apron. Because I was taught the whole day before this. So my voice gets a little harder to hear through here. That's the bucket of water. I'm getting very used to lifting that thing. But I'm, and, and one should switch to the stablest shoes one has to mural if yeah this is this is what you anticipated this being is watching me put on socks and shoes right yeah you can't hear me at all i tried so hard <laughs> I tried hard to make it interesting, but it was kind of windy. You can see all the trees moving. There's no go on this, is there? There we go. Now, now I'm in power mode. I wish I straightened that apron. It's more comfortable when I wear it flat and straight. I can't believe I noticed that it was curled in the back like that. I did make the straps bigger than the pattern called for because I thought it would look stronger and cooler. <laughs> look at how tired I am! Oh, this is going to get painful here in a second. This should have gone faster, at least by five minutes, but um, I didn't realize that the cart had rolled forward um, and it was impeding my ability to move the ladder around. We're gonna. Oh, I look like I'm so tired. Ugh. Yeah, so I put cones out to protect my camera because I was anticipating other people showing up. This took way too long. I, I didn't realize that the cart had rolled forward. It, it should have gone a lot faster. Yep, I'm ashamed. I just didn't realize it. There we go. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, you missed that, huh? Do you see me pull that out of the car? Here we go. Here we go. 
This is the scaffolding I stand on. That's right, I go up and down this thing all the time. I'm not good at ladders. So windy and I'm so tired. Yeah, look, it's sturdy. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I just kind of love it. There we are. Using my legs to lift instead of my back. That's right. <laughs> and I spill the water. Not a big deal. There we go. It can and does go in with the cart in it, but um, not if you don't realize the cart moved forward and kept it from moving. But look at this, look at all the stuff that I've got. And so now I'm gonna open up the ladder just to prove it's a real ladder. That's what's going through my head right now. No one's gonna believe this is a real ladder and that I did all of this in a Prius. That's right, a Prius. That's right. last minute stuff. <laughs> I wonder what I just remembered. I'm like going I'm like, oh, oh, I realize that you can't see the cart anymore. So it's kind of not believing like how much just came out of that car. And I am capable of getting that ladder into the, the site, but I don't need it this particular event. So And this is really how I travel with it, it you know, to, to distribute things around. I hang the bags of batteries, electronics, and cameras on the scaffolding. And I'm moving that because the water's got to go in there. That's the heavy one. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> That's right. Voila. All right. Now I think I'm going to put the ladder back in because I don't need it. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, water bottles, probably. Yep. That looks like water bottles. I was dehydrated by the end of that day. I did not drink those water bottles and I should have. People are showing up. I don't know if this is really all the... As I look through everything and do everything. See, oh, that was it, that was it. That was me putting the ladder, here we go. This is how you put the ladder in. It's true. And you can put it in first. See how I'm putting it into the front seat and then turning it. <laughs> Make 
Meg looks back at the camera. I know, it's kind of nuts, isn't it? Picking up a cone so we can get a, on our travels. I think Bill's showing up. There we go, the next one should be Bill. Yeah, it'd be nice to have storage on the site, but we don't. I didn't like how bumpy this got. But I set it up. I was like, look, I'm a real artist. So that that I'm pointing at his truck that he just helped my partner use a, a, a move a couch with. It's a little shaky because the camera's on the water bottle and I'm like, um, the water bottle, the water jug. It gets really noisy when we get near the scaffolding because that is super noisy to haul down. And this is a hill, though you can barely tell, so I'm like leaning it against me so it doesn't get out of the way or get you know out of control. Oh, it fell. I mean, it's not a bad view, but. He kept it pointed up a little higher than I would have done, but it works. I like that we're like a street painting team and I'm in like a grandma's apron. It's a, it's a nice, nice thing. And Bill can't see the screen either on where he's shooting. So he's not sure if he's capturing us at all. <laughs> yeah, see, it's just another walk up just with a different crew. Um, so I also want to show you um, this walk is just loud and noisy, the bullet is to it. But we get a lot of different perspectives because Bill's on it. I have no idea how I'm smiling with this tired as I know I'm feeling at this moment. Oh, this is the bike buzz day. Okay, hold on. I've got another file. I want to pack the car up. Ready? Who wants to do that? This one? I get 
processing? It could still be processing. watch my paint for a bit um really i'm still exhausted and i'm not done yet look at this mural it is not done um yeah so there's that <laughs> ah great 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 um so i'm tired i'm tired i want to make a tool it'll work that dude was wearing a um what was it a a bush bush gore t-shirt yeah yeah no joke. Um, but yeah, so Meg really got into painting and we just, we just had a good time, you know, painting away. And we had a little friend show up. Um, she showed up twice. Let's see if we can catch her at the end here. Um, there we are. See, look, she showed up and she just painted away with us. We've never met her before, but that's, that's kind of what we're trying to do with these murals is just give kids paintbrushes so that they can participate and like really have a hand in the mural work, what we're doing. And, and so while she's working, I'm going to make my great big announcement that I promise. Um, and that is that uh, Yasmin, uh, Josemar and I have founded a new group entirely dedicated to doing murals and we're calling it local color you can follow us on instagram you can follow us on facebook um and we're working on our website right now but we are local color murals let me let me pull those up for you um we're gonna be working to engage the community with our murals um here we go local color murals and um yeah just so that we can uh sorry I, I can't talk and um type at the same time it's kind of a problem um here we are look this is everything that i just like shared with all y'all um yeah, check us out, follow us, and you can see, so that's me in the upper right-hand corner continuing to work with my uh, mural stuff, and the the young lady who joined us to work on the mural, and it was just amazing. It was a great time. Um, she and the people she brought with her picked up brushes and contributed, but that's exactly what we want to do. We want to do murals, and it was always incorporating local artists and local kids. Um, so there's research that, that so shows uh, when murals are done with the uh, kids who might be more inclined to spray paint on them, they're less inclined to spray paint with them because it's their art and they feel included and they're part of the process. And that's what we want to do. So we're going to, whenever we get contracted for a mural, we're going to bring in kids, people who are walking by and encourage them to paint in the mural. And um, I think, I think that'll be a really, really, really wonderful thing. Um, yeah, and we want to show diverse perspectives and give voice to a lot of ideas. Um, obviously, we've got a rainbow. We're painting a lot of different people with different backgrounds. Uh, we just want everyone in the community to feel welcome and a part of this. <laughs> so you've seen essentially everything I have in terms of video for this. Um, I, I hope you kind of love what we're getting ready to do as we hopefully launch a website and do all that kind of stuff um, and look for new contracts. And we've even got some feelers already. So again, murals can only really be done in the warmer months here in Manchester, New Hampshire. 
So it will be like limited to that time span, unless the mural is inside. We're welcome to are open to inside murals too. But um, yeah, that's that's the great big announcement. Are you excited? Are you glad you stuck around? Local color murals. That's that's the group we're founding. Um, that's what I have for you today. I just thought a review of the murals that I'm working on would be really great so you guys could see what we're doing. I hope you will walk by. I hope you will stop by. I hope you will take a picture, uh, a selfie of yourself at the mural and um, yeah, tag it and post it to social media and say how much you love it so the city knows you really love it. Uh, I'm going to get going. Uh, peace, love, and science.